Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One and my old barn door. And I'm back with another video in this series for uh, using up some book pages and some napkin pieces and just kind of using up some supplies. So um, in this one, we're gonna make a pocket. So we're just gonna take one of these book pages. Let's move this out of the way. And then we're gonna make a pocket. All right, so I'm gonna show this to y'all. Um, and then if you have questions, you can ask. So we're gonna go, you're just gonna take this size book, whatever size book page you wanna use, okay? And we're gonna go this way and fold that way, okay? So you're gonna have a little lip hanging off over here and then you're gonna turn it this way and you're gonna bring these two corners in and you're gonna fit that down in the bottom, okay? So let me show you that again. You have your full book page, fold it over this way, doesn't matter how much, just kind of I eyeball it. I don't measure practically anything, so I'm eyeballing it, playing with it. So, um, so fold it over this way, and then kind of turn it to where the straight line is towards you, and then you're gonna fold this way, and this way, you're gonna fold this piece down into this little pocket like this, okay? And I'm gonna bring it out just a little so that it's a little bit, y'all, I've got stuff stuck all over me from gluing. <laughs> Look up, eyelash trim all over me. So I'm gonna fold this way, and then you just fold it here, and fold it here, okay? And then I'm gonna take a little bit of glue now, this is not my idea. I saw this on the paper post while I was away babysitting the babies um, this past week. I wasn't able to catch a whole lot of videos because, um, <laughs> well, the four-month-old, let me just tell y'all, she gets hangry. And when she gets hangry, she gets hangry quickly, okay? So, she's pretty demanding. I mean, her mama took her to the doctor for her checkup last week and she was 16 pounds at four months old she is a whopper okay <laughs> she's so stinking cute but she's a whopper and so she gets really hangry really fast and so when she starts whining you better have her bottle ready so with that being said i was able to watch a few videos kind of in bits and pieces because <laughs> she eats every two hours um so i saw um, Pam at the paper outpost and she did this pocket and so you're just going to take a little glue and you're just going to glue that bottom shut okay just like that and so this will make four pockets all right so I'm going to let that dry for just a second okay it's good and dry and so then what we want to do is just decorate it. Now, this gives you four pockets, and I'll show you. So you have a pocket here, a pocket here, a pocket here, and then a little pocket here. Okay, so you've got um, four little pockets here that you can put on your page. And let me find a journal. Okay, so I have this little journal that my sweet friend sent me last week. Um, I think it was last week. So let me just find a plain page. Okay, we'll use this one. Okay, and so you can just put it on the page down here, or you can put it this way if you want to and put two of them and have a whole full page, okay? So let's just go ahead and decorate it and stuff it. So I think the first thing I wanna do is change my ink dauber here. Let's put that one with the purple. And we'll use pink on this one. Whoops. Okay, so I just want to ink around the edges. Uh oh. He don't want to ink too easy, does he? Okay. And then, if you did like I did and you didn't ink before you started, <laughs> just take a little piece of paper 
me see. This one might not be big enough. Yep, it'll be big enough. So then you can just kind of go around the edges like this. And then you can put him right here. Like that. Go around the edges like that. And then I'm going to put it in here. Go around these edges. And you don't have to have a whole lot of ink. You know, just enough to kind of give it some deco uh, definition. And then this one. Okay. And it don't have to be perfect. Lord knows I'm not perfect. Okay. Alright. So now we've got our inking done. And I think I want to do some simple stuff on this. I want to use some napkin. And, um... I want to do some stamping so I have a little napkin piece here so let's find something pretty that we can use off of this napkin piece let's see oh I like this let's use this it's like a little stamp him here. I might have to tear him down a little bit more. And then again, it does not have to be perfect. Okay. So let's just take our little pocket and I'm just going to glue this whole little pocket here. Because once the glue dries, it's not going to affect it. Glue him down just like that. Uh-oh. And we ripped him a little bit because my fingers are so sticky. Let's see if we can get him back over. There we go. That's good enough. I probably should wipe my fingers off. There we go. And then we can just take our scissors. And trim those edges. Just like that. And my fingers are so sticky. Sticky, sticky, sticky. Okay. So now what I think I want to do is do some stamping. So let me find my stamps here. I want to do some cute stamps. Um, I think this one would be cool down here. Let's see, what color do we want to stamp him with? Hmm. This one, if I can get it out. I have this blue. I probably should wipe him off a little, but he'll be okay. Okay, so we're just going to take him. Let's put him on here just in case in case we stamp off. We'll stamp there. Cute. Okay. And then what else? I have a cute little bumblebee in here somewhere. Let me find it. He's super cute. And we might put him up in here somewhere. You know what? Instead of using the bumblebee, I think I want to use a stencil. Because this up here is, you know, so broken up. Until I think it would be cool just to kind of use a, a simple little stencil. So I have this one. So I'm going to move this book because it's annoying me. We'll just stencil on, on this. Alright, so I'm just going to lay that over here. A little bit and let's use a green where'd my green go um, this is called bundled sage whoops so 
So let's just get us a little bit of this on here. And again, I don't want it really, really dark. I just want it to add a little bit here and there and give it a little something instead of just, you know, plain. Oops, we have glued. I guess I probably should have let that glue dry, but it'll be okay. All right. Now, now all we have to do, I mean, it's that simple. It's that simple to make the little pocket. And then all you have to do is add your goodies in to the pocket. And let me see if I can find some goodies to add in here. All right, so we have this one. Let's just poke him. Actually, I kind of want him in the middle because I want something a little taller in the bottom. So we'll put him in here. And let's see what else we can find. I've got some cute little tags over here. So let's see, let's put a taller tag in the back. So see you have this taller tag here and you can add that in the back. And now that I've added that, he kind of don't go, does he? Yeah, I think he goes. Okay, we'll leave him in there. Here, let's move this out of the way where you can see a little better. Okay, and then we just need to add something in this pocket and this pocket. So let's see what else we have that's cute. Um, I have this. Nope, he's too big. Hang on. Okay, I have some of these that I made, and they're real easy. I can show you how to make these. Um... So we'll put a couple of these in here. Let me see what else we want. Let's do one of these cute little yellow flowers. And then we need one more. I need one for this back pocket before I keep adding stuff. Okay, I've got a couple of these. These are made from my handmade paper um, that I showed y'all on a video quite a while ago. Um, so we can add one of these in here. And I think I want to add him to this pocket. Now he needs something in here. Let's see what kind of fabric or some kind of goodie that we have to add to that one. Have this left over from another project that I did so let's just use it whoops okay and I actually think what I want to do with this one Let's just take it halfway through like this and then tie a bow. Or maybe not even a bow, maybe a little knot. Let's tie a knot. Okay, and then What I want to do is take a little bit of fibers and we're going to just tie it around that little knot there and it just adds a little extra something to the tag. And I think I want to round the corners on the bottom of this tag. Okay, so then we have a taller tag here, and then we have this tag here, and then we have this tag to go in this little pocket, and then inside this pocket, you can put the little hummingbird, and the little flower and so there you have a cute little pocket 
And if we go back to our journal page, where was that journal page? Okay, we'll just use this one. And so you have a cute little pocket stuffed full of goodies and that instantly decorates uh, your page in your journal. Now, if you wanted to make it five pockets, you could. You could scoot it over a little bit this way and just glue this side and this side, and then you could tuck something in, in behind there as well, like that, and then you could have five pockets. So that is our quadruple pocket is what Pam called it. So, super cute, super easy, super fun, easy to make. I'll show you one more time how to fold them. And you can sit at night while you're watching TV and fold, fold your pockets up. And then, you know, whenever you have time, you can decorate them. So, you're going to fold over this way. And you're going to have just a little bit hanging over. Then you're going to turn the straight edge towards you. And then you're going to fold them in like this and you can fold them in as wide or out as you know wide as you want them and then you just put your creases glue the bottom whoops and I probably glued it too much <laughs> and then you decorate it just like that fairly easy so you could actually fold your pages you know while you're sitting at night or sitting in the doctor's office or you know just take your little little book with you and fold pages and that way you've got pages you know pocket pockets ready to go and to decorate whenever you're ready so there's the beginning and there's the end product so hope you enjoyed the video um, if you did please hit the like and subscribe button if you're not yet a subscriber um, leave any comments or questions that you have below and I thank y'all so much for watching I hope y'all have a great day big hugs